drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, going to talk a little giant spring training. Just going to talk about the first couple games. Periodically, I'll have a video talking about the Giants and how they're looking in spring training, how I'm feeling about it so far. Two games in, not much to talk about, but there is some nice things that we saw. And there's some things I want to discuss. I'm actually pretty thrilled about what we've seen so far. The veterans, have they looked great? Eh, not really, but you know what? We're going to the future right now. The Giants are looking for their youngsters to play well, and they have so far, a lot of them, especially the one guy I want to talk, I want to focus on first is Mauricio Dubon. Crushed a home run in his first at bat. RBI hit later in the game. The guy did make a pretty bad error in the infield, but I love Dubon. I wasn't too happy when the Giants signed like Yomir Sanchez and all these other guys to compete to be starters in the infield because I thought that Dubon was the second baseman going forward. Now it looks like they're going to use him in a more versatile role, which I'm not thrilled about, but whatever. You know what? I really like Dubon, and I thought he looked awesome there. And Joey Bart. Joey Bart. First swing. See ya. Gone. Wow. Opposite field. You got to be excited. You got to be excited for Joey Bart. He's probably going to start the year in AAA. Well, he's definitely going to start the year in the minors. I don't know, but double A AA or AAA. I'm guessing AAA. We're going to see him. We're going to see him in September or something like that. He will get called up. He's going to tear it up, barring injury, barring something terrible. He is going to tear it up and he's going to get the call like Posey did in 2009, and then he is going to be the regular next year in 2021. Joey Bart will be the catcher in 2021. Posey, they'll figure something out. First base, maybe a little backup catcher. I don't know. It sucks because Posey's such a Giants legend, but Bart, this is the guy. I'm sorry. This is the guy. Also, Ryan Howard smashed a home run. Got to give him his shout out. He was with the River Cats last year. He's been in the Giants organization. He's a nice player. He hasn't shown a whole lot of power throughout his career, but he showed it yesterday. So that was an absolute bomb. So good hit there for Ryan Howard. Three home runs in one game is nice to see. First spring training game. Nothing much to take away other than that. We know the Dodgers tore it up. The Giants pitchers didn't look great. Carlos Navas pitched, I believe, a 1-2-3 inning. So he looked pretty good. But all in all, no, the pitching staff got roughed up a little bit, but they are playing the Dodgers once again. Even if it's spring training, that Dodgers team is loaded. Even their non-starters, they just got hitters left and right. That Dodgers team is impressive. But all in all, it was really fun to watch, and I'm really happy with that game. Moving on to the second game of the spring training with the A's. Andrew Suarez gets the start, throws a couple of scoreless innings. That's beautiful. Coonrod came in, gave up a couple runs. I got him making the 26-man roster. Hopefully, he'll have some better outings throughout spring training. Didn't look great. Other than that, a bunch of pitchers came in. They all were okay. Sean Jella looked fantastic. That's the guy who's like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, and I've mentioned him before in one of my prior videos. He will be starting the year in AA or AAA. But look for Sean Jella. This is a big-time pitcher for the Giants in their organization. They don't have a ton of big-time pitchers. we got a lot of position players who I'm really looking forward to seeing when they get to the big leagues. They don't have a lot of pitchers who are, who are like really like, you know, this guy might be really good. Sean Jella is one of them, though. So Sean Jella looked fantastic in the ninth inning in the game against the A's. So i got to point that out. Offensively, they looked okay. Neither game did the Giants go out and just pound the ball, but they had a couple of guys who I want to mention. One is Joey Ricard, who got an invite to spring training as a non-roster invitee. He played a little bit with the Giants last year and did pretty damn well. And he's a guy I probably should talk about a little bit more. I didn't even—I don't think I even mentioned his name in my 26-man prediction video, but Joey Ricard uh, had a couple of hits, but also the bomb from Aviatal Avelino, someone I did mention, who I think will start the year in AAA, but he's going to get some time with the big league club this year. Avelino's the guy who came over in the McCutcheon deal. Really nice player. I mean, I don't think he's going to be a future all-star or anything like that, but he's a nice player, and he could be an upgrade over Crawford. I hate to say that, but he could be an upgrade. You know, at this point, we'll have to just wait and see how the season goes. But Avalino, keep an eye on him in spring training and in the minor leagues, assuming he starts there when the season starts. A guy I really like. It's so awesome that the Giants are in Sacramento, not too far from San Francisco. Can check these guys out. And someone like Avalino is going to be there. And uh, he's a really nice player. So looking forward to seeing him play this year in spring training and especially in the minors when the season starts. 
What a swing of the bat that was from Avellino. Seen some nice home runs in the first two games. Love to see that. Not from the regulars. We love to see guys like Posey and Crawford and Belt going yard. That hasn't happened yet. It will. Just give it a little time. Can't wait to see Hunter Pence swing the bat a little bit. They beat the A's 5-3. to three. Dodgers, of course, crushed them. Not a huge surprise there, even in spring training, honestly. But can't wait to the regular season. See some Dodgers, Giants baseball for real. Giants are going to come to play in some of those games. Everyone's telling me Giants are just going to get destroyed. That's not the case. Yes, they will get destroyed. And they will probably have a losing record against the Dodgers on the season. But the Giants will win some of those games. Let's just be real. This is baseball. This ain't basketball. This is baseball. And even the poor teams, Giants, have a chance against the really good teams. Dodgers and they will win some of those games and especially because the Gi Giants always show up to play when it's time to play LA they know what's on the line there they know it's a rivalry they're coming hard but first spring training game first couple spring training games pretty happy with what I saw some nice hitting not so good pitching some rough hitting some, some strikeouts hey we saw a little bit of everything but it's that you told me if I asked you who are the guys that are going to you know in the first couple of games who are going to look really good swinging the bat if you told me it's going to be Joey Bart Aviatal Avalino, and it's going to be Mauricio Dubon. You just tell me those three guys, I'm going to say, sweet. That's what I want to hear because those are three guys who I think could be a big part of our future, especially, obviously, Joey Bart and Dubon, but maybe even Avalino. So I'm happy with what we've seen so far. Let me know what you guys think below. Just wanted to get my quick thoughts on the first couple spring training games. I'm thrilled. Can't wait for more baseball. Let me know what you guys think below, and I'll have some more of these videos later on talking about some of the players and how things are looking in spring training. But I got to start working on other team previews that people are asking for. We're going to talk about the Reds. We're going to talk about the Royals. We're going to talk about the Brewers. We're going to talk about the Rangers. We're going to even talk about the Astros and baseball stuff. They're already stealing signs, it's been reported, in spring training. Yes, the Astros are already stealing signs because there's people holding up signs that say Houston asterisks. And then they're having personnel go up and take the signs from them. So the Astros are in mid-season form with the sign stealing. Thanks, guys, again for joining me. I can't wait to talk more baseball. Check out the team previews that are going to be coming out. I'm going to be giving away bobbleheads left and right. So check out the future videos. Y'all have a fantastic day. Let me know what you think of the Giants and the first couple spring training games. I'm pretty happy about what I saw out there. Sean Jella looked fantastic. He was throwing the ball hard. He's going to be in that Giants, either in the rotation. He's going to be on that team really soon. Can't wait to see Sean Jella as a big leaguer because it's happening sooner rather than later. Have a great day. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.